What, you thought I was gonna get through the whole Hit Fire commentary series and not bring this motherfucker back? Of course he was gonna come back for my final Hit Fire. Fuck! 30 minutes? I just fucking noticed that! Are you out your goddamn mind? Oh, motherfucker! I mean, I was expecting something crazy, but 30 fucking minutes? I ain't doing 30 minutes, man. Oh, you are out your goddamn fucking mind. Look at this motherfucker, man. Anyway, for the very final hit fire, what the fucking centipede with ducks? I don't know. I'm I'm naturally expecting some of the weirdest shit I'm ever gonna see, but for the very final hit fire commentary, Epic Pineapple is the one who gets the final hit fire commentary, and I wonder how many people thought it was gonna be my own gameplay. <laughs> I wonder if a number of people actually thought that I was gonna do my own gameplay. I actually have a, a cough, so probably it's going to be a number of times during this video that you're going to hear me hacking up a lung and shit like right now. <coughs> Damn, man. 30 fucking... I've never done hit fire commentary this long. I probably... I don't know. We'll see how long I last. We'll see how long that my, uh, my voice is able to go through this motherfucker, man. But anyway, when I knew I was going to end my channel, I, I knew I, I wanted something good for the final hit fire commentary. So here's the thing. This video almost did not occur. I have been messaging this motherfucker. He, he's on my friends list. I have been messaging this motherfucker since April for a video. April. Not gonna lie to you. I'll probably post this shit up just so you guys can see the fucking picture because I was seriously about to change my final hipfire commentary video because I had to post something up. So I sent him the message in April. He's like, you died? Playing fucking, um, I don't know, this duck laying eggs or whatever the fuck it is. It's like fucking centipede or whatever. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. But anyway, I sent the, the request over in April to him. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll hook it up. No problem. So I said, you got, I don't know, maybe like 12, 10 videos or some shit that, that you'll, you'll, you got before you um, need to send in your video. It's like, all right, cool. So weeks and weeks and months go by and this motherfucker doesn't send anything in. So I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to use his video because he doesn't send anything. So oddly enough, I, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I've been posting very little over the past, naturally, right? Because I'm winding things down. Things at home are, are fucking hectic as shit. So I never know. I didn't know when I was going to post the, the 400 video. So we got to... 399 and I'm like, you know what? This motherfucker still hasn't sent this goddamn video. And I've been kind of, you know, like slow rolling it. You guys see that I'm posting maybe two videos a week. Sometimes I've only been able to post one video a week. So I was delaying this because I'm like, I don't know if he's ever going to get this damn video out. So just this past week, I don't remember if it was Monday or Tuesday, I sent them a message. I said, motherfucker, this is it. <laughs> if I don't get the video, it's over. There, there's no more after this. I, I have to get 400 out. So he finally came through, maybe like two days before, like like Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever the hell it is, finally sent the fucking video. And this is the boss. He's shooting a fucking flying duck in his nuts. <laughs> and he, what the hell? And he just like skeeting, look at this, he's skeeting spirals out of his balls, man. What the fuck? System clear of what? Fucking killer frogs or, or ducks from space? I don't know. I knew he was going to send in some weird shit, man. But anyway, I finally get the video, and I was like, oh, thankfully. I, I didn't really have a backup plan. I, I mean, the, what the fuck? Oh, man, is, is this is this going to be one of his shits where he just kind of throws every fucking video at me? Oh, man, don't tell me I'm going to see that Kanye West game again. Worm. I, what the fuck? Only this motherfucker finds shit like this. <coughs> No, but anyway, I, I was getting to the point where I was like, I don't know what my backup plan is. I was having to really think about it, and I was like, I, I guess I'd have to go with my own gameplay because I wasn't anticipating him not coming through on this video. You know, I had done, uh, you guys have seen, I, I, I did a countdown, I told everyone you're going to get one more video, and everyone posted up their videos over at Prestige Gamers, and I purposely held 400 blank. I left it up to 399, so that 399 would be the final video, and the idea was I was going to bring this motherfucker back for 400. And then for months he didn't send that shit to me, and I, I really didn't think this one out. Like, oh man, I'm gonna have to go back and get maybe an old video or some shit like that. And I was literally looking through my old content, trying to figure out what video should I use in my final hit fire commentary, and then blame this motherfucker for having to use it. <laughs> but eventually it came through, 
And sure enough, man, he sends me 30 fucking minutes. God damn, man. I should ban you just for that. <laughs> That's what's going to happen, man. He's going to get banned in the final fucking video. And it was funny because I think it was Grim Reaper that was over on uh, the Prestige Gamers website. He said, what's going to stop somebody from sending in a 20-minute video at this point? He, he's like, channel's ending. You can't ban anybody. I'm not going to send any more future videos. What's not to stop someone from just saying, you know what? Fuck it. Just send in a video that breaks all the guys. Game over. How's the game over? I don't... What the fuck happened? Do you have to get to that thing in a certain number of moves? That's the only thing I can think of. I have no fucking idea how the hell the game's over. It's just a big ass worm. Or a snake. Or whatever the hell this shit is. Nah, but anyways, the Grim Reaper, he, he predicted it. He said, what happens if somebody would just say, you know what? Pfft, fuck it. Like, who, who gives a shit if, if you don't send in another video or something like that? So I was like, yeah, but I don't think anybody's going to fuck around and do some shit like that. Yep, leave it to this motherfucker. Sure enough, is exactly what the fuck happened. So in any event, I got the video, luckily, so I was able to get this in, and, and knock this shit out of the park. But man, it was pretty fucking funny that I was like, yeah, watch somebody not follow the fucking rules, and look at who it is. This guy, man. So in any event, I still don't want to do 30 minutes of this shit. I'm debating what the fuck I'm going to do for the next... I'm going to get to the 10-minute mark, and I'm going to see how I feel. Because uh, talking for fucking 30 minutes, not to mention, you know, I'm, I'm in the crazy house right now. Par part of me escaping the best score... I, I don't even know how the fuck you get a score about this. But anyway, part of me getting away for a few minutes is is because uh, naturally, you know, kids are, are quiet right now. But for 30 fucking minutes, they ain't going to be quiet. Shit, man. Really fucking me over with this goddamn video. But anyway, man, figure, you know what? Naturally, we're going to do this, motherfucker. And you know what's the funny thing? Let, let's talk about the band for a second. You know, when, when I first started, I think Pineapple was the first person that I banned. Part of me banning people uh, it, it was kind of a two-step process but first of all it was part of it was comedic you know someone made some such a stupid decision that i had to have no choice but to not give them the opportunity to make another video and whatnot but another part of that was i did have to enforce some rules part of doing a series like this where you allow people to send in whatever they want is there has to be some type of structure Right? I can't just tell anybody, hey, send in a fucking video, and then all I'm doing is fucking everybody else's videos or some shit like that. So what I needed to do was I needed... Damn, look at how long this goddamn snake is. I don't... What the, Just grab that fucking thing. I don't know what the whole point of that shit is. If you, if, like, you have to hit it on one try or whatever the hell. Best score. Okay, I, I don't understand how this shit works. Don't tell me I'm going to watch this shit for the next fucking 22 minutes, man. No, but anyway, so so the whole point of, of banning people was also to, to really do enforce the rules. Now, everyone who was banned wasn't banned forever. You guys know that I brought them all back. I actually posted up on Prestige Gamers. I said I would give every game over. I guess you can't eat your own tail. I posted on Prestige Gamers that... Oh, God, now he's changing the game again. I don't know what the fuck that was. That was uh, 1989, really? Hattress. Not Tetris, Hattress. Oh, man, what are you doing now? I don't even fucking know. But anyway, part, part of when I, when I unbanned everybody was I wanted them to do all one video together. And, and it didn't matter how. I said, I don't know how you guys could be able to do it, play a game together. And unfortunately, they all weren't able to do it. So I said, all right, just fine. Just send in. You guys are all unbanned. Whatever. Just, just send in whatever fucking video you guys want. So so eventually I unbanned all of them and said follow the fucking rules at this point. But part of the reason why I banned a few people, I think only Pineapple and Sugar Sugar were banned for the videos that they sent. Pineapple just because he sends in weird shit. <laughs> I, I mean, his gameplay is just fucking terrible. On top of that, you got to fit hats on top of hats. This really is Hattress. Holy shit. Tetris with hats. Un- fucking real the amount of shit that you find man but anyway uh i think sugar sugar sends in that weird whatever the fuck people are like oh it's 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 a it's a interactive game or something or, or an interactive narrative i'm like okay but there was no fucking gameplay and they're like oh that's the point of it i was like okay then that was a shitty fucking choice of a goddamn game anyway the other people that got banned were mainly for going over the time limit part of instituting a 10 minute time limit which i'm coming up to right now Part of that was I didn't want to have people going overboard and sending in shit like this. Now, imagine if someone would have sent in a video like this years ago. 
in the middle of doing the hip fight commentaries, what do you think people are going to do? If they see that one person is able to send in a 20 minute video, 30 minute video, now everybody's going to try and top that. And I believe there was someone, what was it? Was it Ford? I think it was Ford. Ford, Ford ended up sending a video of, I think it was 17 minutes or some shit like that, of him just sitting in a corner just typing an Xbox message to me saying, hey, is this your real laugh and all this other shit? There was no gameplay. He literally just sat in a corner and just just, just typed, and, and that was it. And then he turned around, he sent in another video saying, oh, hey, if this is too hard, then here's a video that you can do um, in the meantime. And that video that he posted up, that one of him just typing shit, was the exact reason why I had to institute rules. Because, again, people could abuse these things. And and for the most part, you want to kind of assume the best in people. That, that nobody's going to fully abuse an entitlement like this. And that they're going to fuck over a video, fuck over the person. They're just going to take the shit seriously. And, and for the most part, out of 400 videos, yes, everybody has a very small percentage. But in creating rules to, to govern the videos, you needed to. How the hell was I going to do all these videos if anybody just sending me in the most random shit? I mean, I don't mind a random fucking video, but 30 minutes of videos? Oh, fuck that, man. This was going to be an absolute nightmare. So that's why we came up with rules. So for those who, who broke the rules, it, it's, it's because you were an asshole. <laughs> Game over. I, I don't even think he knows how to play these fucking games. I, they have a scoreboard. Oh no! Ain't this that? Is this Flappy Bird? Is this that game? Wasn't there a game where? Yeah, is this Flappy Bird? There was a game. If I'm not mistaken, this might be it. Where a guy created a game. It 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 stuck for being some weird random game. The guy made millions off of it, and then he decided to pull the game because like, oh, it wasn't my intention to to gain this amount of notoriety and whatever the hell, and and he ended up, I don't know, going crazy. Whatever the fuck, <laughs> I don't remember. I just remember some dude made a game very similar to this, and this could very well be the fucking game, and then they just pulled it. He he didn't want that kind of. He didn't want his name attached to something like this. I, look, if I'm making millions of dollars, I don't give a fuck what my name's attached to. You just take the fucking money and run. You'll you you could buy more fucking more friends in the future. <laughs> buy some pride. Doesn't matter, man. This, oh god, this is like Techno Kitty. Basically, he has to get through all these fucking pipes without touching them. And I'm sure the controls are something like oh, press a button to to stay flying in the air or whatever the hell it is. It's not like you can just fucking fly straight. Cause look at that bob up and down. And and damn, is it sensitive? I mean, he can't even get. What do he get through? Four pipes? I mean, then again, Epic Pineapple plays like shit, so. <laughs> Every game he's ever played, he plays like shit. You can go back, just just do hip fire commentary, Epic Pineapple, look at every fucking game. The first game he ever sent in Mario, he couldn't get past the first goddamn board. They sent in, I think the, the Earthquake Survival video was the second. Then after that, what did he do? Oh, I'm trying to think what else he sent in. He might have sent in another Mario. Oh, look out now. Look, he's on a roll. They have six. That's his best score. And then I forgot what he sent in. And then he sent in the one video. He sent in that EnviroBear. There was something with Kanye West. There was that big trucking shit where the truck was flying through the fucking mountain and had no goddamn physics in the fucking... Yeah, man. He, he, he He's played some shit. He finds some of the worst goddamn videos. And, and then the shit is, everyone tried to mimic this motherfucker. Everyone was like, oh, if he did it, fuck it. Let me send this shit in. I think we had a... Uh, I think I did a copycat hip fire commentary, if I'm not mistaken. And Techno Kitty was brought back. I know that. But I don't think anybody did the Earthquake Survival video. And people found it, but they decided not to do it. Because, I mean, that was just alone one of the worst fucking videos humanly made, man. I tried, I did the best I could out of it. I tried to make it as entertaining as possible. And I believe a lot of people laughed at the end of that motherfucker. But that shit was a pain in the ass to do. Because you didn't know what the fuck you were getting. I mean, I, at that point, I hadn't gotten the significantly crazy shit at that point. But that one clearly topped everything out of 400 fucking videos between that shit. And there were some other ones, man, that were just fucking atrocious. But, man, that was one of the first ones that was absolutely terrible. Anyway, I'm fucking halfway through it. I'm still running out of... I'm, I'm like, what else the fuck can I talk about for 15 minutes? <laughs> Oh, man, I hate this time of year. It's always when you fucking cough and shit like that, man. Yeah, just flat. Look at that shit. He, like, toyed a total dive in this motherfucker. Oh, man, you are terrible at this goddamn game. At this point, I don't even know what the fuck to talk about because you're just clearly 
fucking terrible. You see, this is another thing that was a challenge when it came to hip fire commentary. You have to come up with something to talk about for 10 fucking minutes, aside from this motherfucker's horrible gameplay. I mean, uh, uh, he can't even break six fucking pipes. Now, I don't know how difficult this game is. I honestly don't. But if Epic Pineapple is struggling, that's not a very good indicator because he usually struggles at, he struggles at like, fucking Pong. Oh, did you send Pong to that motherfucker? Yeah, I believe years and years ago, I was having guys do reverse hipfire commentaries. You know, try to do hipfire commentaries on your own channel. And I believe Mahaffey, Mahaffey, who was someone who sent in Minecraft to my channel, he sent in a couple of uh, strange games, but he was one that sent in one of the first Minecraft videos. He was the one that did, uh, he spelled my name in bricks and then he blew it up with dynamite. He, he, um, he decided to do a hipfire commentary and he had Pineapple send him some shit and he sent him in Pong. And I couldn't stop laughing. And, and Pineapple to this day was like, well, what was harder? Was it this or was it Pong? And you gotta realize, for me, I, I do commentaries. Mahaffey was only starting. I don't know if he, he was familiar with how to do commentaries. I don't remember if he had too many videos on his channel or whatnot. But <clears throat> I've done enough of these and I have a natural ability to just talk and bullshit. Mahaffey was fucking lost. I mean, he was just straight up like, what the fuck do I talk about? Is fucking Pong. Like, right now, this dude has been on this shit for, what, five fucking minutes now, and he still can't get through pipe number six? I, I mean, damn, what do you talk about if somebody can't fucking play a goddamn video game? It's, it's hard, man. It, it, it was always a challenge trying to figure out shit. After a while, you kind of get to the point where you're like, I ain't gonna talk about the gameplay, man. I'm just gonna bullshit. <laughs> I was gonna talk about whatever. I'm gonna talk about my day, man. I was at work today, and this motherfucker did all this bullshit. You see? Oh, look out! Watch out! Watch out! Are you gonna break his record? Oh yeah, he tied it at least. He was on a roll there, man. But shit, this game looks fucking annoying. I know this can't be the final game. I mean, he's already had how many games have we seen so far now? We've seen four games. Are you are you gonna break your record and get to maybe like ten and then call it a day or some shit? Seriously, man. The, the, this, now this is boring the shit out of me. This is the kind of shit that people play when they're on the train and they're commuting to work and shit like that. I mean, I, I haven't I haven't ridden the subway. I don't ride the subway. I ride, I ride the regional lines now. I do ride the subway for like two stops and shit like that. But back when I was living in the city, the actual boroughs, you get to ride the subway a little bit longer. And you see people playing fucking, yeah, what is that, bejeweled bullshit and, and, and fucking angry birds and all that other shit. Oh, yeah. It was, oh, 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 oh. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He can do it. There you go. He's going to break his record. Can he get to 10? Look out now. Pineapple finally figured it out. Half an hour. There you go. 10. That should be, quit right there. Quit right your head. Nope. Don't even. Next game. Mm -mm, nope. Next fucking game, dude. Oh, man. Don't tell me he's going to try and pass this fucking thing. Now he's going to try and pass 10. Fucking sun shines on a dog's ass every now and then this motherfucker finally got to 10 and he go oh let me see if i could top that no you can't top that man you don't know how to play video games <laughs> doesn't know how to play shit man so now that we posted this video up i, guess, I think I've, I've mentioned this but guys there's only one more video left and the one more video is my goodbye video my goodbye video is not this fucking long i already know exactly what i'm going to say in the video i don't think it's 30 minutes i want to say maybe oh, maybe 15 minutes or so I haven't done it yet. I know exactly what I'm going to say. I know what I'm going to talk about. But I, I, I don't think it's this fucking long. So clearly this is like the longest goddamn video I'm going to do. Watch, I bet you after all this goddamn work, I bet you this shit is fucking copyright strikes. <laughs> oh, fuck, Frogger. This was one of the hardest fucking games back in the day. Frogger was a pain in the ass. He, he dead? So, you got to jump in the... Okay, you got to jump on the logs to get across. So on one side you gotta avoid the traffic, and then on the other side you gotta jump across. And you got squatted. Um, you gotta jump across the lily pads. All right, got it. This is this is like classic fucking. This is like Pitfall, man. Yeah, just keep jumping across the logs. Oh, you're fucked now. Oh, so that, <laughs> oh man, any anything that takes coordination with him, you know, is not gonna happen. Like right there, he had. What is that? Is there another frog on there? You get, you see that? There's like a purple something or other. Yeah, you ain't got no goddamn high score. We know that. So just, 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 just stop that shit right now. No need to show a leaderboard. <laughs> he ain't got no girl. Damn, he just like straight up jumped right the fuck across. He's like, fuck it, let's get over there. I don't. You see, like, look, look at that 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 one log. There's there's like a, a a purple spider or something. Is that a spider or something? Are you trying to get? 
all your frogs across. Okay, so you're trying to get all the frogs across to the lily pads on the other side, and that, that shit takes a little bit of coordination, but we, we all know you ain't gonna get across. Ain't gonna fucking happen. You'll get maybe one. Yep, yep, splat right there. Not gonna manage that motherfucker, man. God. Watching watching you try to... God, watching you try to play is just facepalm worthy, man. Holy shit. I swear... He, he died instantly. <laughs> right there, just run across. Right, just run. There you go. Did, how the fuck did he land on that? I didn't think he was gonna land on that shit, man. God damn, man. Anyway, like I was saying with, with the with the goodbye video, you know, I've always I I, I I knew what the end of my channel was sort of gonna look like. Back when I think I told this when I was doing the um, my top five favorite or my top twenty five favorite videos. Back when I did my thousand video, and my thousand video did sort of a review of everything you guys know about that video, two and a half hours of, of like all my great assists and shit like that. But when I did the video, the idea that I realized was you, you, you sort of realize your mortality. At some point, I'm gonna have to end the channel. At some point, I don't know how the fuck did that not count. I thought you would have got that one. It was like at some point I knew that I was gonna have to end the channel, and I had to think of ways at that time. Once I did that video, how would I do it? What would the end look like? And this motherfucker keeps just dying right away. Yeah, just end this one. No, nope, just throw yourself in traffic. You ain't gonna get a crew. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking terrible at this game. Nah, go play the next game, man. I don't know what, what's after the Frogger, but something else gotta come on. Watch him throw the Earthquake Survival video. Just fucking shits and giggles, man. No, so like I was saying, I knew what the end was going to look like. I knew I had an idea of what I wanted to do when I was going to close everything out. But the matter of, of putting it together at some point was going to happen. I didn't know what the ending was going to be like. I never knew what my ending was going to be like. I just knew at some point things were going to... Oh, that sucked. That, I thought you got that one. I thought I, I, I thought at some point it was, you know, was going to end. Didn't know how. Didn't know when. You know, I, I certainly didn't want it to be for health. I certainly didn't want it to be because YouTube gave me strikes and whatnot. It was like, yeah, maybe, you know, maybe I was going to get busy at work, get another promotion. I mean, I'm already in charge of my, my division. So, I, I, um, I mean, only a couple steps away from, you know, one person between me and the CEO kind of thing. So, where else was I going to go? Maybe get a new job, more money or something like that. I had no idea what the, uh, what the future was going to hold, but I knew at some point all good things come to an end, right? So so back when I came up with the idea that, oh, yeah, I was going to do all my videos and, and revisit everything and I was going to do a final countdown and whatnot, I got to see all those videos all over for the last time. So I knew when I got to the end that hip I, I, I wanted to come up with a number for Hipfire Comics. I knew I wanted it to be a nice round number, you know? 400 seemed like... Um, a good number. So when when the kids were were born, I knew that yep that that plan that I was gonna have in order to to get by and do the uh, the final videos and close down my channel. Let's see what was the closest number that was a nice round number, and and it turned out it was gonna be four hundred. Now who knows when I was gonna end my channel? If I ended it in the future, it would have been five hundred or whatever the case is, and ended up being four hundred. So naturally, I wanted to give everyone their opportunity, that one last chance to uh, do their videos. You know, send me your goodbye videos. And I believe that I've gotten all my regulars in so that they were able to do their final videos and whatnot. So hopefully they got to send in their best representation. The fact that this is Pineapple's best representation, we know that he's a fucking shitty game player. <laughs> we know that shit. So th this, is, this is on brand for him. Th throwing a fucking game that, oh, now they got alligators in this motherfucker. So he actually, I didn't even pay attention, he actually got, he made it to the next level simply because I see fucking alligators. That's, that's pretty goddamn amazing. Now, I don't know if he can jump on the alligator to the back. I don't know. But I see one alligator's like blocking the, uh, the safe zone or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, nope, yeah, you're about to get fucked up with that alligator. You know he ain't gonna survive this shit. You, you, you know he ain't gonna get past this motherfucker. Got six minutes left. I actually talked the whole fucking commentary, so I might as well finish this shit off with all this goddamn time left. But I'll tell you now, man, if, if I would have done my gameplay, yeah, there we go. I knew the alligator was going to get his ass eventually. If I was going to do my own gameplay, chances are I was going to go back and I was going to pick one of my games that um I posted up without comment. Oh, God, what is this now? Pick up as many passengers as possible. You know you're going to run the motherfuckers over. Oh, you can run the motherfuckers over. <laughs> 
<laughs> I thought it was just straight. Like, you're supposed to, like, ride next to them and nope, he runs them over. What the fuck? Oh, God. I, I don't even know where he finds these fucking games. This is like the snake game. This is the fucking snake game all over again, just with color. It must be the same company that created all these games and they gave Pineapple discounts to go play that shit. It's the only thing I could explain. Look, this is the easiest one for him. It's the only one he's fucking surviving. He, yeah, I, I don't get this shit, man. I don't know where you fucking find these games, but clearly the, it, this shit was like made... You know, if, if this was a recently made game, this is... I like how the bus gets longer because it picks more people up. Or the train, whatever the hell that shit is. I, I, I don't get the logic behind that. How, how the fuck does the train just magically get longer just because you picked up more people? I wish my train was like that. Hey, let's get lo a longer fucking train because we just picked more people up, man. I, usually my fucking trains are all goddamn nightmare and shit like that, man. Oh, he, he's getting... Look at that. He's making it to all the goddamn uh, the, the landmarks in this motherfucker, man. I don't know where they pick these random cities. Like, oh, yeah, this is Cairo. This doesn't look any goddamn thing like Cairo. Fuck out of here with that shit, man. Wow, he is surprisingly good at this game. Pineapple, we finally found something you're decent. Oh, you fucked that one up. Yep, yeah, nope, you gotta go back and get... <sighs> yeah, that, that, I don't know what the fuck he did there. Now we're gonna try London. All right. Oh, they got a bus. We, th that bus is gonna turn into fucking 30 feet if he's any decent at this shit, man. Look at this motherfucker. The, I don't know who creates these goddamn games, man, but this is just... Uh, oh, yeah, we made it to the London Eye. Oh, look at, look at this shit, man. He's on bro. He got these for all these passengers and whatnot, man. Anyway, I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. I got distracted by his fucking moving bus game and the growing bus, which is basically the snake game all over again. I don't even remember what the fuck I was talking about. I know we were talking about... Um, the ending of this motherfucker, man. But anyway, I got three minutes left. I gotta say, my voice is fucking hurt. <laughs> <coughs> Running out of gas here, man. Now, I've had 30-minute videos. I I've talked to rants and shit like that. But usually what you do is you stop the video, you cut it into pieces, you do different parts, and then you're able to complete the video. Here, uh, 30 minutes straight, man. No break, no bullshit. Yeah, man, this, this ain't easy. Not easy just talking for 30 minutes watching some bullshit gameplay. <laughs> Because you know this shit is some bullshit. You know he's going to come up with some bullshit, man. Oh, but anyway, I, I forgot what the hell I was talking about. Oh, yeah, just like, just just time in general, man. You know, when 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 the channel was was ending, you know, and I, and I had an idea like, oh, yeah, you know, this is going to be the end of this motherfucker. You know, I, I sort of plotted out that eventually we were going to do all my um, final videos at some point. And the funny thing is when, and waiting for his video, it kind of actually delayed the end of my channel. I, I felt like I should have ended my channel like in August and whatnot. I'm not going to lie to you. It, it probably should have ended by then because, man, my time has just been limited to all hell. I mean, non-existent. And I'm going to talk about that in my final video because you guys are going to get an idea of just how hectic things are. For me to take 30 minutes out of my day and do a video like this, oh, man, I'm going to hear it later. <laughs> As soon as this video is over, oh boy, I'm going to hear it later. Like, you gone for 30 minutes? Like, yeah, I had to do a um, commentary video for this crazy motherfucker. Yeah, that's not going to go over fucking well, but in any event, man. That's all right. We're ending the channel, so it's not going to be like I'm going to have any more, more of these opportunities. So I might as well go out in style, you know what I mean? You had it right the first time. I don't know why you moved over. This, you're better at this than that snake game. I don't understand why. You're pretty fucking decent at this one. I don't know. Th this might be your niche, Pineapple. You gotta stick to playing this bull. Oh, how are you gonna get that person? Oh, all right. He he's, he's got his flow. I, I thought, like, the bus would have crashed into the wall. He would have ended this motherfucker, man. But anyway, we're getting to the last minute. So, as we end this, first of all, I want to thank everyone who has participated in all 400 Hipfire commentary videos. It has been a long, long journey. To get to this point. Unfortunately, it's a journey I would have liked to continue. But hey, you know what? Life happens. Shit happens. Can't continue all of them. I know that some of you guys have submitted multiple videos. Tree Hugger. And some of you guys have only submitted one video over the years. But in all, in all honesty, I've, I've appreciated 
all the response. I appreciated all the feedback and all the participation because without you guys, this would have been 400 videos that would have never been on my channel. And clearly, Pineapples had some of the craziest ones on the channel. <laughs> but I just did 30 fucking minutes of his goddamn video. But I must say, I do appreciate everything that you guys have done for my channel. So now that we're getting to the final seconds, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all the good shit. One more video, guys. One last video, and that's going to be next week, and that's going to be my final goodbye video.